number one of unit one so first of all open a new web application so click on file menu select new option from the new file select website by default it is selected if it is not selected make sure that it should be selected so asp.net website uh, also you will make sure that the language should be visual c sharp as we are going to use visual c sharp as a language for the coding <coughs> you also can change the path where you want to save your web application you just browse it and where you want to save you just select the path and finally you can say okay we don't want to change it so let's say okay so it is going to be stored under the c users del website for folder and make click on ok button click on the design part then you need to put uh, four labels four text box and for the proper alignment we can use a table option select the table menu select the insert table there are four five rows five so you can set number of rows as five two columns and click on ok button here you need to use labels so click on label right click on label set the properties first you need to set its id lbl first name so it is going to be asked to enter first name of user so label text is first first name then same way put the second label for the last name change id lbl last name and uh, text property last name next put the label its id is say lbl mobile set its text property mobile then next is again one more label for getting the email id so lbl email so id should be meaningful from the name you can understand the use of that particular control here let's say email and now here resize the column of this table so you just resize it and in this column you can put the corresponding text boxes to get the value so use a text box to get something from the user so put a text box double click on this text box select the properties window open it change its id txt first name then you need to set uh, auto complete type property and uh, from that select uh, first name value as a auto complete type property and we don't have to set any another property same way select and insert the second text box change its id txt last name auto complete type select last name then next text box put one more text box change its id as txt mobile and set its auto complete type property for that you just select business phone then to get the value of email set this and use text box change its id txt email and from the auto complete type select email so here you can see email is there then it says that one more that you have to put control right as a button so i don't want to use both the columns of this table so i can merge the columns uh, of this table select both the columns right click modify and merge cells because we want to put only one control right and put the button so double click on button set its property let's say btn submit 
change its text property submit okay now what is the use of this button <laughs> Once the user enters first name, last name, mobile and uh, email then, and when user clicks on the submit button according to the requirements of program you have to display one more page and in that form you do not require to enter the data which you enter in this previous form. Automatically you can complete it instead of entering the value. So now insert one more page. So go to the solution explorer right click on this root and select add new item select the waveform here you can change the form name also so let's say unit 1 program 1 and its second page so underscore 2 and say place code in separate file visual c sharp and select add a same you have to design a page like as default right so i am just going to make the copy of code if you require the same design no need to do it again just select it so from the beginning of uh, division core division tag you can make a copy so let's say from this table beginning of table to end of table make a copy of code so select the code press ctrl c go to the page number two click on source and in between division put that code so put the cursor in between division text and uh, press ctrl v so entire code is copied here go to the design part you can see that if you don't want to copy it you just uh, follow the previous steps everything you have to do you have to put this many labels you have to put this many text boxes and now we don't require any button here remove it also you need to set all the properties of these text boxes here also you need to set the properties like say text box id and uh, let's say okay so text box id you need to set auto complete type you need to set same steps that we performed in previous page same steps you need to perform in this page also okay now next thing is when user clicks on this submit button what we have to do we have to display another page that is page number two so we want to navigate that page when user clicks on this button so you can write that code that is executable code you can write that code into the cs file so select the solution explorer and then select the default page and select the cs file you just double click on this you can see this is the uh, uh, place where you can write the executable code or go to the page and uh, default page you just double click on this button submit it will open the click event of the submit button so when user clicks on this button we want to perform something so you need to write the code in a click event of the submit button what you have to do here you just want to display next page so let us see how to navigate from current page to the next page so for that you have to write down response dot redirect right so this is the redirect method is used to redirect the current page to the next page it has two methods right so here you can see one of two we are using the first method of the uh, http response object that is a redirect method it requires only one argument of uh, a string type it says that a url which page you want to display as a next page you just simply give the name of that part page name so in a double quotes you want to display this page right so the name of page is u1 p1 underscore 2 dot asbx so in double quotes you use the u1 p1 underscore 2 dot asbx and double quotes completed so in this way you can redirect the any page so from current page to the page name that you are given the control will be transferred but means next page will be displayed this one and now go to the first page and you can debug your program so select this debugging icon start debugging 
select this modify or you don't want to debug without debugging you want to run then you can press this select this option or shortcut keys control f5 but we want to modify at present later on we can omit it so click on ok button Now here you can see at present we have not entered anything right let us enter the first name I have already done this program so that's why it is shows the name of list so this is the auto complete let's see I am going to enter the name like say um, uh, enter Mittal so we have not entered anything with the M letter so let's say Mittal and then say DR mobile number 980 see something it should be 10 digits right 3 3 6 8 and 10 that also we can see the set then email right say mittal at the red gmail dot com click on submit so when you click on submit it displays the next page that is unp1 underscore 2 now here uh, suppose I want to uh, enter the name having letter starts with the M right so character first uh, characters is MI so when I simply type MI now I do not require to enter anything but automatically it completes from the previous uh, data so what the data you have entered previously you will get the list of all the data and you do not require to type it again but you can complete it automatically so you just select this down arrow, down arrow press the down arrow and select the entire name and press this space bar key so it says that Mittal is enter right same way last name I want to see the simply if I type P later so you will get the list of uh, all this uh, last name having name starts with the P later if I simply say P A you will get that uh, list of uh, last name where P A are the first two characters if I say but so if I type B if there is already enter any last name with the B later you will get the list of that uh, now last name which starts the with the letter B okay now suppose uh, I have not entered any last name which starts with the letter K so press K so you will not get list so it, it is not going to be completely automatic automatically so this is the auto content type auto complete type property of a text box is it clear so now let's say PDR so P when you type P it says the Patel is there and Padiyar is there so you do not require to enter it but you just select it same way mobile number right so you can select that number and then select it so in the this form you do not have to enter the data but automatically you can complete it using that property so this is the program number one of unit one is it clear thank you